بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ہما شاہد ایز یو گائز فیملیئر فرام می سو آئی ڈونٹ تھنک ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی سیلف اگین سو ہیئر وی اسٹارٹ آر فرسٹ میجر کیٹیگری ایز آئی ٹولڈ یو ان مائی فرسٹ ویڈیو ایف یو ڈونٹ سی مائی ویڈیو یٹ دین کائنڈلی گو بیک اینڈ فرسٹ یو سی دا سلیبس اینڈ نوٹ دو سائٹس مائی پریویس ویڈیو لنک از ان ڈسکرپشن Here in the sample of our exam paper, question number 7. How evolution is reflected in the body plans of animal kingdom is also about our first major category in which we learn about the evolution of animals kingdom. Let's start our first major category. From our first major category, we choose one minor category. architectural pattern of an animal this video is also help for those who search about architectural pattern of an animal it's a lengthy topic so i cover this topic in few more videos here you see variety of animals different kind of animals their evolution from basic to top we discuss in this video So here our first minor category. Let's start it. Architectural pattern of an animal. The English satirist Samuel Butler proclaimed that human body was merely a pair of pincers set over a bellows and a stew pan and the whole thing fixed upon stilts. Most people less cynical than Butler would agree. that the body is a triumph of intricate living architecture the english satirist means a person who uses ridicule or sarcasm like a person who acts speaks or writes in an amusing way the architecture of human and most other animals conform to the same well defined plane The basic uniformity of biological organization deserves from the common ancestry of animals and from their basic cellular construction. In this minor category, we consider the limited number of body plans that underline the apparent diversity of animal form and common architectural themes that animals share. As you see in this hierarchical tree, different kinds of animals are there here we see that how protest start their journey pause the video and draw their tree in your notebook so you first living so our first living organism is protist unicellular then modified occur we see evolution sponges then slate form coelenterates After Coelenterata, here Nematoda and Echinoderms. Then our core data starts. As through this mollusks and annelids are formed, then more evolution occur. So formation of arthropod seen. Through Echinoderm, we see amphibian and its start. Agonetha, cartilaginous fishes, bony fishes. Also form into reptiles. birds and mammals in our next major and minor categories we use discuss this in what he breeds and what he breeds in detail subheadings are also here in our minor category hierarchical organization of animal complexity among the different unicellular and metazoan groups we recognize five major grades of organization number 1 protoplasmic grade of organization number 2 cellular grade of organization number 3 cell tissue grade of organization number 4 tissue organ grade of organization and number 5 organ system grade of organization before starting these subheadings i want to teach through this simple slide as you can see in this slide the level of organization The smallest unit of life is an atom. 
which combines with each other and form molecules. These molecules are then formed into macromolecule. These macromolecule forms an organelles. These organelles then form a cell. A cell is combined with other cells and form tissue. These tissues form an organ and obviously organs are working so they form an organ system. It was an easy way for our students to understand. So let's start our first protoplasmic grade of organization. The unicellular groups are the simplest eukaryotic organisms represent the protoplasmic grade of organization. You know unicellular means having single cell. They are nonetheless complete organisms that perform all of the basic function of life as seen in more complex animals. They show divisions of labor, processing distinct supportive structures, locomotor devices, fibrils, and simple sensory structures. The diversity observed among unicellular organisms is achieved by varying the architectural pattern of subcellular structures, organelle, and cell. For example, unicellular organisms. Example of unicellular organism is paramecium flat slipper like so move on our second cellular grade of organization the simplest metazones show the cellular grade of organization in which cells demonstrate division of labor but are not strongly associated to perform a specific collective function metazone The metazoa or multicellular animals evolved greater structural complexity. Multicellular means having two or more cells. A metazoan cell is a specialized part of the whole organism. Cells of a multicellular organism are specialized for performing various tasks. For example, some flagellates such as volvox have distinct somatic and reproductive cells which are placed at the cellular level of organization. Examples of metazones are different. Here we can see wall box. Look, it is in colony form. So here is cell tissue grade of organization. Cells are grouped together and perform their common function as a highly coordinated unit called a tissue. Animals at or beyond the cell tissue grade of organization are termed as eumetazones in the cellular grade of organization because most cells are scattered but a tissue in cnidarians is the network nerve net in which nerve cells and their processes form a definite tissue structure. For example, sponges are considered by some authorities to belong to this grade, although jellyfish and their relative nidaria more clearly demonstrate the tissue plan. Sponges belong to cell tissue grade. Jellyfish also shows tissue plan. Here a variety of nidarians are seen in this slide, which also shows tissue plan. So tissue organ grade of organization. In animals, tissues are assembled into still larger functional unit called organ. Organs are usually composed of more than one kind of tissue and have a more specialized function than tissue. The chief functional cells of an organ are called parenchyma. The supportive tissue are its stroma. For example, this is the organizational level of flat worms, flagey helminthes, in which well-defined organs such as eye spot, proboscis, and reproductive organs occur. Vertebrate, pancreas, the secreting cells are the parenchyma capsule and connective tissue. Framework represents trauma. Example of tissue organ grade in vertebrate is plagiarminthus 
in phylum and in vertebrae its example is pancreas so our last grade of organization is organ system when organs work together to perform some function we have the highest level of organization in organ system systems are associated with basic body functions such as circulation respiration and digestion the simplest animals having this type of organizations are nematian worms which have a complete digestive system distinct from the circulatory system most animal phyla demonstrate this type of organization for example 11 different kinds of organic system are observed in metazoans these are skeletal system muscular system integumentary system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system excretory system nervous system endocrine system immune system and the last one is reproductive system our first organ system forms a skeleton as shown in this slide you see circulatory system nervous system respiratory system digestive system skeletal system and muscular system of humans different animals show different pattern of a skeleton according to the architectural pattern as you can see a skeletal pattern of dinosaur which evolved in different animals then muscular system as you can see our whole body is covered with muscles which stretch and contract according to the movement of living body don't be afraid it's not a well pet print design this all shown as integumentary system as in first which is human skin then zebra tiger snake and elephant it's a digestive system of human through which human digest their food in bolus form different animals show different pattern of digestive system pause the video draw just system of each animal cause in your exam not just written work makes your copy beautiful but in different subject you need to draw different diagram according to the content your different copy pattern distinguish your copy from others here in this slide we see digestive system as well as circulatory system there are different respiratory pattern in each figure showing respiratory system in this slide you see circulatory system in human as even in human eye and foot the circulation makes individual alive look how clear is it arteries and veins are spreading in whole body carry oxygenated and deoxygenated blood showing circulatory system in animals excretory system start in platyhelminthes so here a clear diagram of it draw this diagram in your notebook as nervous system is shown in this slide that how neurons are scattered and making a network through which stimulus observed by receptors and then these receptors take message to the brain and at the result brain responds according to stimulus our immune system which should be strong as you can see in this COVID-19 pandemic those who have strong immune system could easily recover themselves our immune system is our body place which protect us from bacteria and viruses strong immune system easily faced microorganisms our last organ system is reproductive system through which young ones produced as nature create different pattern of reproductive system different animals show different reproductive pattern so finally i end this video here any question regarding you can this me in comment box
I will continue this video and topic in my next videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys get a lot of information. Ready for my next videos. See you in the next video.